origami and space. Two things you wouldn't normally put together, but the ancient art of paper folding and space exploration actually do go well together. The larger and heavier something is, the more difficult and expensive it is to send them into space. So scientists use origami to make them smaller and more compact to send them up on a rocket and deploy them in space. The James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch next year, has a huge sun shield the size of a tennis court that will block heat from the sun to keep equipment cool and be able to take pictures in infrared. The Starshade, a thin 100-foot sunflower-shaped shield meant to cover the glare from distant stars to properly image exoplanets is also in development. On a bit of a smaller scale, I'm going to show you how to do the Mura Fold. Named after the Japanese astrophysicist Kuromura, who created it in 1985, this folding technique was used to deploy solar panels on the Japanese Space Flyer Unit. The fold allows things to remain flat and be deployed in one motion by pulling on opposite ends and refolded by pushing the ends together. It's actually really useful down here on Earth too for folding up maps. If this was the Mora fold, it would be a lot easier. So to make folding things over and over again easier, learn the Mora fold. I'm going to show you on an A4 piece of paper. Start by folding it five times lengthways. You want them spaced out evenly. This is just how I'm doing it. You can be more precise and use a ruler, but you don't have to. Now you want to make them alternate folds, like you're making a fan. Fold it back on itself so it forms a zigzag. So you've got mountains and valleys, the mountains going up and the valleys going down. It's the origami lingo I've picked up. You're going to be making a lot of mountains and valleys and it's like I'm doing the YMCA. This is my first time teaching origami, so go easy on me. So once you have that done, bring it together and make sure it's well folded and has some good creases. Then you're going to fold one end up at an angle, so not straight on, just off to the side. Then flip it over and fold it back on itself, making sure it's at an angle again. And back on itself again, so you're making another zigzag all the way along. So you should have something that looks like this. Again, make sure it's nice and creased. Unfold it and it should look like this. Now we're going to be making some more mountains and valleys. Start from one end, so along this line just here, we're going to make all these folds into mountains. So instead of being up, down, up, down, they're all mountains. Then flip the paper over and the next line we're going to make more mountains.
and again flip it over and do the same thing on the next line. And keep repeating that till you get to the end of your paper. So it should now look like this. Again, you've got mountains and valleys. And now all you need to do is bring it together. It works best if you're squeezing it in the middle. Fold it all in and flatten it down. Then take one corner and the other, pull, and then push it all back again. Just one simple motion. And there we go, the wonders of the mirror fold. Then if you've got some more scrap paper, you're about to throw it in the bin, why not fly it instead? This is what I think is the best way to make a paper aeroplane. I was taught this by my dad when I was younger and I've never forgotten it, so I thought I'd pass the lesson along. Firstly, fold your piece of paper in half long ways. Then you're going to make some triangles. Take this corner and fold it into the middle. and do the same thing on the other side. Then make another triangle. Bring this corner into the middle. And do the same thing again on the other side. Now fold it in half. Then take the outer corner and fold it towards you. You're going to go all the way along, match it up to the edge. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. There you have a paper aeroplane. If you want to do a little bit extra, give it some little tabs. Think aerodynamics. You can colour it in and do whatever you'd like. Just make sure you don't take someone's eye out. I hope you've been able to follow along and are now a master of the Moorafold and the paper aeroplane.